Uh, hey everybody, it's Rachel and Tim here. There's Timmy's driving, looking cute. Um, we're going camping today. So we woke up this morning, uh, had our coffee, and while we were drinking our coffee, we thought, why not go camping? We packed up in two hours and I got on the road. We are heading to um, Kickapoo, Kickapoo Park down by Champaign somewhere, I don't know. In Champaign, Illinois. Um, we're visiting my sister tomorrow, so we thought um, we'll stop there, camp tonight, and then head to my sister's in the morning. We'll see you at the campsite. All right, we arrived here in uh, Kickapoo Camp and um, we just pulled in. Um, not too many people here yet. Um, so we're, uh, we're gonna first unload and set up tents and then uh, I think we're gonna hit, to the, hit the trails on our bikes. All right, so we have a Coleman Sun Dome tent for person. Um, we got this for our wedding, which was June of 2019. Actually, it's almost our two year anniversary here in about a week. This one does the job. We can fit a uh, full size air mattress, nice thick air mattress in there, shove it through the door. So that's what you'll see us do in there. That's what we like to sleep on. Um, it says 10 minutes set up, so we'll see if that's true. That's it. have here is an Intex uh, clean air mattress um, and uh, this works really wonderful for us um, something that keeps us off the ground gives us a little cushion um, I know that in colder months it can be uh, a little cold um, doesn't hold in heat very well but um, that's not gonna be a problem for us uh, tonight because it's pretty warm out so we're gonna see that set up correction I think this is a full air mattress um, and uh, it has a, a pump here, uh, you plug into AC and um, it fills it up that way as well as uh, empties out the air at the end. Um, so we have an adapter in our car, uh, so we just use that um, to fill it up. So we're going to bring the car over and see if we can uh, reach into here to fill it up or if we need to fill it up out of the tent and bring it back in. Hopefully. We don't have to take it out of the tent. We can fill it up that way. So we have here a uh, 150 watt power converter. Um, it basically takes your car plug-in and turns it into a normal house plug-in. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, wrong way. Sometimes that happens. Got it sorted out here, found a tag that says top or bottom, actually on the sheet, so that's nice. I definitely had it wrong at first. A little, it's 
a little hot in the tent. We can't remember if we had done sheets in the past or just a, a sleeping bag. That would work as well. And you just go for the, forego the, forego the sheets altogether. Yeah. So. All right, I'm gonna give you a little walkthrough of our camping gear, all the stuff that we brought with us this weekend. Um, so first off, we got the crate of logs some firewood, brought that from home, just thought it would be easier. So we have that. Um, this was the bag that our tent was in, obviously. Got our cast iron, which I'll be hopefully making some delicious biscuits and gravy with in the morning. Um, this is just Tim and I's stuff, his book bag of clothes and stuff that you need for, you know, getting ready. My book bag with my shoes on there. We brought two gallons of water with us this weekend. Um, this is our sleeping bag. It's a two-person sleeping bag. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Two-person sleeping bag. So we may use that as a blanket or extra cushion. We may not use it. I don't know. It's pretty hot right now. It might get colder in the evening. This is our um, cooking stuff. It's like a compact bunch of different pots and stuff, which I'll show you later. And uh, our camping chair is there. Mine's the green one because green is my favorite color. Tim's is blue because boys are blue. Um, toiletry stuff. And then this is just like dry food, stuff that doesn't need to be refrigerated and some other camping stuff or cooking stuff. So We have a cooler for our um, cold food. Yeah, our in the cooler car still. is in the car still. And uh, yeah, so that's what we brought with us this weekend. Just camping for one night. I'll show you more a little later. So we wanted to give you a uh, quick introduction to our vehicle here, the RAV4 uh, Toyota Sport. Um, so uh, this is what we drive around everywhere. We actually are a one car family. So we take this um, to work, to, to ministry, to uh, camping and in all the sorts. Um, and it gets us around. Um, it's got four wheels. It's got a couple doors. Um, they open and close. And then a uh, real treat back here, um, you know, I mentioned this on the road, is that we have a bike rack. This is new for us. Um, and uh, you can see here, it just, it sits over the wheel and secures on here with some bolts uh, and then a lot of straps that wrap around and keep it on there. And uh, these things bounced around a little bit on the road, um, but pretty secure all together. They didn't fall off. So that's, that's what we wanted. Can um, we open the door with the bikes on it? Yeah, so let me show you that here. Um, this works great. It's not attached to the hitch. We don't have a hitch. Um, so it's just attached to the door. So it swings open still. Um, and then in here, this is, this is a real treat. Uh, we have uh, under room storage uh, because the wheels on the back uh, that you can fold all this up and it gives you a lot of room for storage. And this is where we keep most of our camping gear. And uh, in here, you can see some more of our kitchen stuff uh, that we'll be using later tonight. Uh, to cook up some some nice things unless we use the fire maybe we'll just use a fire um some string light bulbs string these from the top of your tent you got light boom remember how long it took us to figure out how to turn those on yeah they're um they didn't come with instructions you don't think you usually need instructions for lights but um we twisted and and turned um till our till our fingers bled but um <laughs> turns out is you just pull on this string here it gives a little click who figured that out um i don't remember it's probably you babe it was me you're the smart one so <laughs> there we go yeah and that's the that's the rav4 so uh, if you want to own one of these you can probably go to your local toyota dealer and get one so thanks i wanted to share a couple things with you about um our bikes here we have a few new updates um so we got these actually last year, last uh, spring at the beginning of COVID-19. And uh, since then we just recently got some nice water bottle holders and water bottles. You just, um, you, it works better when they're off the, the hold, the, uh, the bike rack. Um, we'll show you that later. And uh, here we got, we got a phone, phone holder. So um, you can see directions if you're lost in the woods. Otherwise, yeah, you know, a bike. So, 
So we're uh, trying to find some bike trails. Um, we saw on the map that there are some bike trails, but we don't really have mountain bikes. We just kind of, we have, you know, paved street sidewalk bikes. Cruisers? Is that what they're called? Um, no, not quite cruisers. I forget what <sighs> Mine's kind of a hybrid, but we don't have shocks or anything like that. So these kind of trails are not what we're looking for. We're looking for something more paved. So we're just trying to find those, see if they have them. So we'll keep looking. So we found, uh, we've kind of ridden around on a lot of different roads uh, looking for paths. And we just came across um, this path here, um, which is slightly paved. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this down and see where it leads to and have a little fun. So I'm gonna try and uh, mount to my phone here on, on my bike, see if we can get some footage of the trail. <laughs> Coming by. Oh, bummer. Oh. Don't bring your children here. <laughs> okay. Looks like that came to an end for now. We'll see if we can find another good one. All right, so we uh, were given this map to uh, find the biking trails, but I can't understand a single thing on this map. I don't, I don't, I don't think she gave us the right map to even where we were at right now. I can't figure out anything. Nothing makes sense. The whole road doesn't exist. Rachel, what are we gonna do? Do we follow this map? We can't. It's gone. Completely useless. We're gonna have to just go back the way we came from, but that means we have to go back up a really steep hill, which I'm probably just gonna walk my bike up because I don't think I can physically do it. I'm too weak and it's really steep. I could barely even walk up that. How was I supposed to bike up it? <sighs> so we're back at the campsite and uh, we got to bike around a good amount. Um, we only found one really uh, nice path um, that was paved that we could ride on next to the water. Um, most of them were mountain biking trails. So um, we decided to come back, hook our bikes back up and uh, drive over and hike on some of those trails. So mm -hmm. um, I think that'll be, it'll be, that'll be fun. So getting a little uh, citrus. A little snacky. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna go hike. Almost crunched on that. Almost crunched on that dead chipmunk right there. That's disgusting. Hey babe. Hi. Out here in the woods. It's really pretty. 
This right here is some land coral. You can tell because of the way it is, it looks like coral, but on land. It's edible, has a slightly cheesy flavor. Um, and uh, it's also a little soft. So you can put it on salads, anything you want really. Just kidding. I don't know what it is at all. Don't eat it. <laughs> get out of the get out of the weeds. Tim's walking in the weeds. Probably just went through some uh, poison ivy. You have one stuck on your shoe. He's trying to walk backwards on rocks right now. <laughs> As you can see, Rachel is uh, wearing. What yeah. are those, babe? Tevas. Tevas. Um, what do you think of your tevas, Rachel? They're great. They have good support on my feet. They have good uh, traction. Uh, they're cute, I think, and yeah, but they're good for hiking. I'm wearing uh, Keens. They're um, sandals, and they protect your toes from hitting on things, which I like because I, I, I do that. And uh, you can yeah wear them in the water, and they, they dry off fast. So I, I like them. So. We're heading back now. Um, we are getting a little hungry, so we're gonna head back to camp and uh, get cooking some hot dogs. Yep. What kind of hot dogs did we get, Rachel? Nathan's All Beef Franks. That's right, all, all beef, beef, all day. <laughs> so we'll see you at the campfire. All right, see you then. So we have cooked some uh, all beef hot dogs on the fire and fire gave us some trouble but mostly a, a smoker than a fire but uh, the beef hot dogs are delicious dill pickle chips uh. excuse me best chips around Tim's just fixing our tent light there that we have hanging up like a little overhead light <laughs> we've just been chilling in the tent after dinner we went for a walk around the campground and look at that good morning good morning y'all it's about 6 30 we did not have a very good sleep <laughs> Yeah, I, I got a little cold. Also, on top of being cold, there was loud well, noises. Well, when we set up our tent, we noticed um, some some mole hills around here. Mole tunnels. And um, and so, Rachel, <laughs> as we were going to bed, Rachel heard some weird noises. It's just, I think that's the moles. It sounded like crunching and like, it sounded like a, imagine an, a giant ant and their mouth moving like that's that's what it sounded like to me well when we woke up this morning we realized <laughs> those noises were not actually moles um, they were really large ants moving their teeth yeah there's actually <laughs> giant ants here <laughs> <laughs> no but they are giant cicadas and um, let's see if i can give you a I'll look at some um, so there's there's a cicada and uh, they were taking off their shells. So that's the noise we were hearing. It was them taking their skin off. And it's just louder than you would imagine. <laughs> and I think maybe them being underneath the, the dome here, it just amplified it or something, but it sounded like small rodents making little scurrying, <laughs> scratching noises. and. So every time I woke up in the middle of the night, I was like listening to that thinking at any moment a mole was going to chew its way through the bottom of our tent and come in and nibble my toes. 
and I was really scared about it. So I had that in the back of my mind throughout the whole sleep. <clears throat> at one point, Tim was like, "It sounds like one. It sounds like a mole just threw a stick at the tent." Because <laughs> sometimes it sounded like sticks were being thrown at the tent, but it was just cicadas landing on our tent. There you go. So we solved the mystery. I was reluctant to believe it at first, but it makes sense. Okay, I'm a little sleepy, but I'm gonna show you our some of our cooking equipment. This is like a compact camping set. It has a bunch of different stuff in it. Um, so on the bottom, it's got this skillet that the handles pop out. Won't be using that today. And then there's this big pot here, which you can hang over a fire. Um, and then inside comes with a couple of wash rags. Um, these are some forks. No, those are spoons. So comes with spoons that just kind of pop open. And then these are the forks, I believe. forks and then inside is a little kettle inside the kettle is four cups that have these little like protectant things what are these I don't know for if it's like hot stuff that you're drinking and then here's the lid for the kettle and then Last up is the plates, cute, cute little plates that come with it. So these might be a little small for biscuits and gravy, but it's what we got. So we're going to use them. <laughs> That's it. And then this is our like kitchen utensil bag. So I think it's got a nice design. When you unzip it inside, comes with all sorts of goodies. There's, you know, tongs, metal spatula, um, a ladle, kitchen shears that have a bunch of different edges. If I was smart, I would know what those are for, but I don't. Um, a little like rice thing and a, a knife, cutting board, and then there's Oh, that's a wine bottle opener down there slash can opener too so that's our cooking utensils i'm probably only going to be using this one today for our biscuits and gravy but yeah <laughs> Rachel, what are you doing there? I'm browning the uh, sausage for biscuits and gravy. Um, it seems to be cooking and doing a nice job. So, put to this, I'll sprinkle on some flour and make a roux, add the milk, make the gravy. to get a little more browned up, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Rachel, what's in the pot? In there we have some biscuits. Um, so they're sitting on a trivet inside the pot and there's like a, just a little bit of water beneath them. Um, so maybe they'll get a little steam. I don't know. I just didn't want the bottom of them to burn. Um, and then we got some hot coals on the top. To cook them from the top so we'll see how it turns out that's what i'm the most unsure about is how the biscuits are going to be i also don't really know if the pot's hot or if it's like cooking at all pot's hot but yeah i don't know what's going on in there so. we'll mystery see. pot Thank you. 
trying to cook biscuits on a stick and in the pot. <laughs> This is gonna be my first bite with the biscuit cooked on a stick. Mine is a little doughy in the middle still. Mmm. Still really good though. That's biscuits and gravy. Oh yeah. Try the steamed biscuit now. The other biscuits were steamed, so they're way softer. Still fine. Still good. Success! Well, our camping trip has come to an end. We just packed up the camp and we're driving away now. So, I think it was a, a great last minute camping trip. Um, Kickapoo State Park here um, offers a lot of different um, things to do. We didn't do a lot of them, um, but we did bike some and hike on some trails and it was fun. Yep, we learned some things. I learned how to cook over a campfire, something besides hot dogs. We learned what cicadas sound like when they're yep. coming out of their shells in the night. When when uh, just dozens upon dozens are coming out of their shells on your tent. It sounds very gross and it'll keep you up. So we learned all about that. Yeah, I think it was a great weekend. Got more practice making campfires and it was good. Good weekend. So catch you later.